What's going on, everybody? This is your favorite YouTuber, your favorite teacher, your favorite everything, Verdi L. Coleman III. I know I've been very distant. I seem a little bit, you know, standoffish and whatnot, but I've really been working hardcore with my program, with work, trying to make sure my students are good. And I've had some personal time as well. So I also kind of been trying to build up some new projects on the side so i'm a little long overdue for this story but it's definitely one of the ones i want to talk about the most it's called my first kiss and a lot of people have asked to hear this story and for namesake i'm gonna call her peach because that was the that was the flavor that day but a long long time ago I was in high school and I used to chase after this girl all the time and her name is Peach. And true enough, I stood no chance with this girl. I literally was like one of those guys that that chased after something he clearly had. Like he, I was, she was out of my league, man. And I guess in a way I should have stayed in my lane, but the, the payoff was kind of, it was kind of good, you know? So I get in 11th grade, 11th grade, it was her senior year. And I, I don't know, it's like I woke up. It's like I got bolder, I got, you know, more courageous, more, just more everything. I think I really felt, I really felt my energy back then. So May 11th, 2008, this is when it all went down. So the day that my first kiss happened, I was just kind of like going about my day normally. And I think she came up and she was like, you know, hey, how you doing? And I was like, I'm good and everything. And I told her, I was like, you know, I was like, you know, you're getting ready to graduate soon. And, you know, I'm trying to kiss you before that happens because I, I don't want you to leave my life forever. And so she was like, oh, that's so cute. And so we were on break. Like it was like a 10 minute break. And I don't know if it was just, I was just nervous at the time, but I couldn't do it. So like that whole day, I was just like, man, did I really mess this up for life? Did I lose out on an opportunity to be able to, you know, kiss on the lips of one of the most beautiful girls I've ever met in my life. And so as it would turn out, lunchtime came around. And I go in, I go in there and our tables are right next to each other. Like her class sits here, I sit here. And so eventually I would work up the courage to wave at her. I'll be like, and so she'll wave back. And I was like, could I come over there? And she was like, yeah. And so I go over there and I play with her ring and I took it off. And so I was like, may I? So I came around and I proposed to her. <laughs> you know, now that I'm telling this story, it sounds so stupid, but it was innocent. So I tell, so, so I, I did the little proposal thing and everything, put the ring back on the finger and I, get, I hug her and I walk away. And so she was like, she was like, Verdi, you gotta kiss me. And I ain't gonna lie. Peach was looking extra peachy when she said it. So I walked up to her and like I leaned in, she leaned back. She leaned in, I leaned back. And I said, you know what, screw it. I only live once. So I went in and I kissed her. And I kid you not, it was by far one of the best things I could have ever done in my life. Yes, it was like three seconds, but it felt like an eternity. And I don't know. It just, it, it made me think like, wow, this is what that feels like. Everybody's always talked about how, how your first kiss is supposed to be magical or some people regret their first kiss. But me, I don't regret it. It was magical. I mean, I would go on to have quite a few more of them with her, you know, her senior night, when I saw her again, when I became a senior and she was in her first year of college, I would see her again. And, you know, it was, it was magical. It felt, it felt basically like, it 
felt like receiving a gift that you've always wanted. Now, this isn't to say that I that my entire gift was that I wanted my first kiss. It was basically to say that that it was one heck of a gift and I love it. So I felt like the man. You know, my, my friends, the few friends I did have, they were like, you know, dude, you're breaking barriers now. But eventually she would go on to, you know, get married and she's with the love of her life now, you know, successful, married, and happy for her. You know, she's she's way better off than most people are, and that I congratulate her on. She's she already knows that I congratulated her and all that. But she she'll always be a special person because she was responsible for bringing me into a world that I probably wouldn't have gotten into otherwise, or I wouldn't have gotten into it as fast as I did. So a lot of people make a big deal about the first kiss. Some people don't. But one of the things that I always want to encourage people is that if you are if you are wanting to kiss somebody and you're nervous, think about this. Your first kiss should be with somebody special, somebody that you truly feel like that you can have a future with or someone that you feel a special connection with because you don't get that back. You can't just go back and be like, oh, I want to redo my first kiss over. No, you don't get that back. So, moral of the story, enjoy. Enjoy life the way it is. Enjoy life for what it can be. And definitely establish those connections. This has been another Silver Tone production. Have a blessed day. The season finale is coming. It is coming. So, 